Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Dusk's Tale. Now, we are deep back under the lab. We came here to see if we could find some more Prussian blue tablets, to see if we might be able to subside some of the uh, radiation that still seems to be emitting from us. Even though we've lost our radioactive mutation, our body itself is still irradiated. And that's primarily because of the environment around us in the mansion. Mendelssohn's mansion is now highly radioactive. And that's also affecting our companions as well. So we are going to need to move. We're going to need to leave the mansion behind, which sucks. But luckily we haven't put too much work into it. Sure, we boarded up a lot of windows, but boarding up those windows doesn't take a lot of time. We didn't build a wall. I'd be pissed if we built a wall and that happened. So we are going to be trying to move to the other mansion. So I came here to try and get some Prussian blue tablets with Dusk. And upon returning here, the voice of the Shogoth started ringing through Dusk's ears again taunting her and so she planted a mini nuke outside of its containment cell and activated it now our ears are still ringing we are still deaf i really should have put some earplugs in but i don't think it would have made a difference now i might be exposing myself to more radiation here potentially my question is now how close do I get to that blast site? How close do we go? I mean, obviously, a lot of the lab is now going to be unstable on this level because of that mini nuke going off. The, the concrete walls might have been able to contain it somewhat because um, they are quite thick. And this isn't a proper nuclear explosion, but it's still very, very big. I think we need to get close enough to see. If we had another wrapped radiation badge, that would be great because then if we started seeing it changing, we could... Uh, yeah, we could avoid it. I think we're going to take both a Prussian blue tablet and some potassium iodide right now, though. So we're going to go ahead and eat those down while we're kind of curled up on this bed. Our ears still ringing, and I think we might actually try and wait until our hearing comes back. And you know what? There is a chance it might not. We just heard a nuclear explosion underground, the shockwave rattling the lab. There's a chance we're not going to hear anything. I am super nervous right now. I think we need to start moving. It's 11 p.m. Now the others are probably quite worried because, um, well, we know that Bradley's gone off somewhere. We don't know where he went to. He, I, he, I kind of imagine him in his sorrow decided to leave the mansion for some time. We still have Pei and we still have Candy by our side and they fell asleep in the pool room, the actual, the snooker room. Um, and they were still following us. There's a chance they may have tried to follow us here. Uh, I don't think they would have though, um, but obviously I, I feel like they would have felt those shockwaves and they would have known something was up and then kind of looked to the side, just seeing that they were the only ones on the couch and that dusk was gone. We're going to leave the flashlight off for now. I'm so nervous. Because there is a good damn chance that thing is still alive. Fires could be spreading right now. We don't know for sure. We're still completely deaf. We could be hearing all kinds of like howling and uh, <laughs> I'm a little concerned. We're gonna we're gonna chew on a biscuit or two because we're hungry. And then I think we're gonna activate our holster. We're gonna take out that um, submachine gun of ours that has saved us so many times so far. I know we're getting close. Oh god, what is that? Hazy cloud. Why is there a hazy... These hazy clouds... I think the hazy clouds are radioactive clouds. Okay. Yeah. That's radiation. That's like radioactive waste right there. Um, you know what? We're gonna have something to drink. I'm gonna turn on the flashlight. Uh, flashlight is currently tea. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. 
Wow. Dusk cannot see the true aftermath of the miniature nuclear explosion she let rip through the lab. She can see hazy clouds of what she believes to be radioactive material, dust, still settling from the explosion. She doesn't know how long it will take to settle. She doesn't know for sure if the Shogoth is dead. But she can't tell if it is or not now, because she's been hearing it kind of penetrating into her mind the whole time that she's been here. We are deaf though, and I think, you know, even though it's it, it's strange, we are still hearing those si sounds, even though they're psionic sounds, we are still hearing them in a strange, strange way. So even though, like, we're deaf, I, I imagine just her brain just being ringing still as well. So we are going to be able to tell whether or not the thing is dead or alive. But if we wait here, we can kind of see those hazy clouds subsiding somewhat. We, some, we see some blood. The blood most likely belonging to the zombie brute, which was in here. Just muddy chunks and rebar. But no sign. No sign of the Shogoth. There is something over here. Tainted meat. Again, probably from the zombie brute. We're going to allow this to subside some more as dusk waits. The area is probably still quite highly radioactive. Us going in there probably isn't the best idea. But there's part of me, and there's part of dusk, I think, that needs to know. She needs to know if this creature is still out there. She may have set it free, for all she knows. I want to see if there is another way around. Another direction we can come from because uh, there might be we're still deaf we are still deaf we are hearing footsteps like but I, I I don't think we are at the same time okay so we can see we can we can see a little bit of our destruction up here if the thing is alive if the Shogoth is alive and it because this is the thing it regenerates I don't know its full capabilities. I've never faced one before. I've only heard of what they're capable of. Now this this bomb has ripped through here, but we still don't know the extent of it. Okay. What is that? It's just a hole where an where the elevator was. I'm pretty sure see that is where the Zombie Brute was. This is where the Shogoth was. But there's no sign of it. There's some bloodied meat over here. A chunk of tainted meat. There would be many chunks of tainted meat if it was the Shogoth. The question is, where is the tainted meat along here? Only four. Oh god, there's chunks all over the place. Well, now that is a maybe. That is a maybe. And what the hell is that that we're seeing? Dirt. Is it just dirt? We're going to allow the, the radioactive haze to settle some more. Our body aches. How? Because how, we could be getting absolutely slayed by uh, radiation right now. Okay, we can hear. And we don't hear anything at all. I think the creature is dead. We will not know for certain, however. I'm going to mark this square up here. I can't actually remember how it was spelled. I'm just going to say show. Crater. And we will return to it. But we are going to leave for now. We are going to get the hell out of here. Because uh, I think being down here any longer... Actually, let's leave this flashlight just on for the time being. Um, 
yeah, I think being down here for any longer with that radiation is not going to be good for us. We came here to try and get rid of radiation. I think we've irradi irradiated ourselves even more. So, yeah, not so good for us. Okay, let's get up. We are hearing gunfire from the north and above. So something, something here still has, like, guns. We can hear again. Apparently we couldn't hear before, but we started hearing again, and now we can definitely hear again. See that good old gimp mask? Okay, let's see if we can find ourselves a way up. Okay, the Migo hasn't gotten out, and it's not going to get out. So, hey, hope you enjoyed the rattle. I sure did. See, yeah, so what we're hearing now, that is the Migo. We're not hearing the Shogoth. Hello, bombs. How many of you can we take? question is, do I want to bring those back home? I think maybe it is safer for us to leave those here for now. You know what, we're going to do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just still hearing the, the Migo. Okay, let's get up. I don't know how often we should be taking those Prussian blue, blue tablets. I imagine we shouldn't be taking them all the time. It can't be good for us. And we return to the surface. It is midnight. It's late. And we still have some food, we have some water. I feel nervous about returning home now. Okay, hello dog. You don't want to start anything, believe me. Let's go ahead and just use our holster. Put that away. Okay, well we haven't attracted any massive hordes to us because the explosion was down quite low. And I've just seen that we do actually have a quest flashing over here. It is for a museum. Oh, so that's probably for the the religious artifact. Which is for Donnie. And Donnie's still out there somewhere as well. We don't really know if we can trust Donnie out as well. We aren't sure. We are not sure. Okay, so the things that I want to check out. I want to check out the mansion. Um, we also want to hit up the military bunker. And we want to hit up the um, last man on earth shelter as well. The last man on earth shelter can be a really good home for us. It might even serve as a good temporary home until we can get the other mansion kind of secured. Because the thing is, I want a big space. I want somewhere where we can have a number of NPCs. And I feel like that's a pretty good position. We have a swamp right by us as well. That's a great... I mean, swamps are fantastic for resources. They can also have a lot of enemies, but that's, you know, a chance to get some meat as well. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. So, what is Dust going to do from here? I think she still wants to stay alone. We know that the others are still out here. Bradley's out here somewhere with these other NPCs. He found two others. At least we could sense two other minds with him. Now, whether or not they were threatening him or not, we, we can't tell. We only know very basic information about them. So, what are we going to do? We still need water. We don't actually have a lot of things with us. I feel like we should go back. I think we need to prepare properly. And it looks like this coyote is going to try and attack us. So, let's see. We're going to go ahead and loosen that scarf of ours. Make sure that we can actually get those fangs out. So, our knit scarf is just there. Okay. From the northwest and below, we hear, oh god, oh god, my leg. Okay. Well, he didn't take too much to kill him. But we did it. Let's go ahead and just take everything we can from him. We'll take the sinew. We'll even take the bones. Uh, the stomach isn't going to help us out that much. But the pelt is as well. So let's take them. Let's get going. Yeah, see, the reason our stats are down so low is because of um, the radiation. It is uh, really getting to us. And we can see that we're feeling nauseous again. Not a good sign. Radiation really is a silent killer in this, and without us being able to build a, um, a Geiger counter, we have no way to actively detect radiation. We spotted a skeleton. Okay, hello. Yeah, you've definitely seen us because I've been running around with my torch on. Okay, let's turn that off for the time being. We've still got our mouth. Yep, our mouth is still showing. Um, I'm actually going to take off the the liner, the glove liners right now. Uh, there they are. Okay. Here comes the skeleton. 
All right. Now, because we're doing a lot of bashing damage with our claws, we're able to take down the skeleton relatively easy. Let's just smash it for now. Okay. All right. I think we're going to start moving through just like this. We're not going to be able to see a hell of a lot, but we kind of know our way back to our mansion. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, this sickness is not... It is not good for us. So essentially, we need to try and get our food and everything out of here. We need to we need to move a hell of a lot of stuff. But for the time being, we just need to get some basic supplies that we can use to get the hell out of here. And so what we are going to need... Yeah, see, we can't have these right now because we're not feeling well. The briefcase we don't need. I still don't know how and why we picked that up. I probably have some kind of auto pickup on... No. Nope. No, nope, we just picked it up for the hell of it. Okay. I'm just going to drop these glass flasks back here for now. Um, yeah, we kind of just need to, to drop a number of things here. I think we are going to put those glove liners back on, and we will go ahead and... Knit scarf, wrap that back around our mouth. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. I, see, because, like, this area here, I'm imagining, is quite highly irradiated. Because we've spent a lot of time into it, and essentially that mutation was saying that we slowly leach radiation into the environment around us. So that means, I, I guess there's even a chance that the food, everything that we consume, could be slightly irradiated. But I, I think it's more uh, the area itself, the tiles, become irradiated. Uh, so we don't want to be here for long. I kind of need to get in here and get out as fast as I can. What I'm here for are purification tablets for water. So I'm going to see if I can find any of them. There we go, small plastic water purifier. So we're just going to take two bottles of those, and that should do us just fine. Um, now in terms of food, there is going to be food in the other mansion. So I'm fine with us just taking the biscuits that we have with us right now. The cough syrup we aren't going to need, but I am going to keep the Prussian blue and the potassium iodide with us. Uh, I'm going to drop the recipe book the alpha one just back down here for the time being okay well, let's keep some batteries with us we probably don't need the bones and the rest but i think we will keep some of those we do have the chemistry kit with us we could potentially use that uh it's just boiling so it's not going to be help us with kind of cooking so let's just drop that up here with the rest of our stuff okay chemistry set no that's the flashlight what am i doing okay um that's it. Now, I can't remember whether or not we actually have any hot plates left. I don't think we do. We're going to let go of Travis just for a second. Oh, hey, Candy. Yeah, I'm not surprised you're suffering. Now, there is something we can try and do with Candy. Something to get back those original tablets. Uh, and I am actually going to try and do that in just a moment. But we need to get, actually get them out of the house first. So, let's see. We want to try and find a hot plate. Uh, see if I've actually got one in tax store. I don't think we do. Which means that we might just have to try and uh, cook via campfires. Which, uh, you know, that's not the not, it's not the worst. I feel like we'd want to take, at, at the very least, a frying pan with us. Or our frying pan in particular. So I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, pay is with us now as well, which is good. Uh, we just need to get both of them out of here. Because they will both be saying that they're suffering from radiation sickness. So, yeah. They're probably going to be suffering from that for a while. We're going to leave the majority of our food here, but uh, I am just going to want to try and grab that. And we don't need the, the pot. The frying pan will do us just fine. So, let's see. Let's get out of here, first of all. And we are going to try and take a route that is going to take us away from radiation. So, let's go kind of out here. You know what? I think we'll be okay in here to try and do this. Let's see. We're going to let go of Travis for the time being. So, Candy. Let's, first of all, let's just, um, let's talk to her and just see how she's doing. Um, I'd like to know a little bit more about you. Okay, so she's, she's pretty. She's pretty. Okay. And Pei did get a mutation, as far as I'm aware, uh, from my memory. Let's see. I'd like to know a little bit more about you. Yeah, that's right. Slow healing, which is not ideal. Not ideal at all. But if we go to Candy, if we investigate Candy Shanks, and no actually mm, this is how we do it 
sort armor. So we can tell them to unequip things. We can use shift U apparently to tell them to unequip items. And eventually what will happen is that all the items that she have has will tumble on the ground. So let's just see if we can do that. Oh, it's, it's just regular lowercase U. Fantastic, yes. Okay, so we're gonna do this with everything that she has, uh, leaving her stark naked because this is gonna enable essentially everything that she's got to drop to the ground. That's my hope at the very least. That's what we want to happen. That's what I'm hoping will happen. So we're just gonna have to remove everything from your candy. I'm very, very sorry, but this is just the way that we do. Okay, so she ain't got nothing right now. Um, we need to swap positions with you. And okay, we can see that the Prussian blue tablets are there. Fantastic. And along with a whole heap of other things as well. So that's really, really, really good. We can actually give stuff back to Candy now properly. Yay. Okay. Now a lot of her stuff is actually pretty wrecked at the moment. Um, so we're going to have to be kind of a little careful about how we give them back to her. Um, I can see that our combat knife is there as well. So I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, let's see, what do we have in our sheath at the moment? I think we've got the butcher's knife, right? Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead quickly and activate our sheath. And I'm just gonna throw the butcher's knife against the wall. Like that, okay. All right, let's grab the combat knife down there. And we're gonna go ahead and activate our sheath once again. It should still be S, I believe. No, it's not, okay, so just to make it easy for us to do this in the future, we're going to go ahead and just change the name of this. So we're going to use equals to reassign it to just the letter S. So activate S and we're going to put the combat knife away. Okay, so let's see. We still want to give her a sheath. We want to give her the army pants. Uh, she doesn't really need to have a lighter. We're going to give her... Nope, we're not going to give her those. We're going to grab that. Um, I think we'll hold on to some of these things. We want to give her that. Um, we'll give her a holster combat boots, army helmet, long sleeve shirt, drop leg pouch, crossbow, backpack, um, cargo pants or army pants. I think we're going to go car cargo pants. And that's pretty much all that we can carry right now. So that's fine. And so now we're going to go over to Candy, who's still wielding the machete at the moment. And we will, how do we want to do this? No, we just say, I want you to use this item. And we have to give them to her one by one, I suppose, which is a little unfortunate. I guess we could try and trade them. No, it, it won't allow us to trade them because that's bugged at the moment. So we'll say, I want you to use this item. And we're just going to go through bit by bit. Yeah, so crossbow. Nice. And let's say, I want you to use this item. Wooden crossbow bolts. Uh, did, did, did that not go to her? I want you to use this item. Oh, okay. Hang on. No, no, no. She can't because uh, she can't actually carry them. So let's do it this way. Offer the backpack. Thanks. Okay, great. Now I want you to use this item. Let's just give her all of her clothes first because uh, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, Candy. Sorry. Okay. Um, I think it will be good giving her... Um, A, a weapon in that holster um, so I think we're going to hold on to the holster ourselves just for a moment uh, and now we will offer her the crossbow my current weapon is better than this yeah but it's it's not though <laughs> I know how good you are for crossbow candy I know how good you are you just gotta believe in yourself man you just gotta believe um, is there an army helmet there or was that in my inventory it probably was it was probably under armor no doubt okay all right well let's talk to you again candy Okay, I want you to use this item. It's very, very quiet at the moment because it's just snowing outside and, well, when it's snowing light like this, it doesn't actually make a lot of noise. So we kind of just got music kicking about right now. I'm imagining the music because I add the music in post-production. And I know there are a few of you who have asked about that as well, as, as to like where the music comes from, what sound pack. It's music that I actually put in myself and it's from Epidemic Sound, which is a fantastic sound library. Like they've just got amazing music and, um, it's just all around really, 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 really good. Now, how can I get that machete back from you? I don't know if I can. I think she's convinced herself that she wants to use that machete and she doesn't want to use anything else. Hmm. I would love you to use this. So yes, she won't take those. What if I just say I want you to hold on to this item? 
I mean, maybe there is something I can do to say only attack enemies at range. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's say, let's say I want you to hold on to this item, crossbow. And I want you to hold on to this item, that. Okay. All right, well, that's that's that done. We've got her wearing some clothes. Now, if we jump into here, we're gonna go sort armor and we just wanna sort things out so that actually, they actually kind of make a little bit of sense. Okay, so she's mostly, mostly covered and actually a lot of this actually does make sense. Uh, so she is missing some parts, but overall she's, she's relatively well protected. Now, I'm assuming that um, Pei isn't, oh my God, really? Holy shit. Okay, I didn't realize this, but Pei has only been wearing a skirt and a pair of sneakers. Everything else got torn off her. Because we can't see, because she's wielding the briefcase SMG. She's just been kind of holding that in front of her this whole time. <laughs> oh, Pei, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, look, is there anything else that we can give her here? We could give her the motorcycle helmet. That would give her some kind of protection to her head and the polo shirt. That's the very least we could do. And we can give her a pair of boots. Yeah. And we can actually give you the sheaf with a butcher's knife. Okay. All right. Oh dear, Pay, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's see. I want you to use this item, and let's give you, let's give you a few things here. A pair of boots. I want you to use this item. Sheath with the butcher's knife. I want you to use this item. Polo shirt. There we go. Uh, she's definitely not dressed for the weather. She's definitely not dressed for the weather, but uh, I guess it could be worse. So we're going to take that. We're going to take that, that. The vacutainer, we're probably just going to leave here for now. We'll take that flashlight as well, just for the time being. Actually, we'll probably leave it and we'll just unload it. Okay. The army pants we are going to leave as well. The splint we don't need to worry about. The vacutainer we probably will come back for. Um... It's a way for drawing blood, okay. So I thought it was actually like a, it's something that you could use to like vacuum seal things, but it's interesting. We might actually hold on to that ourselves because, you know, it could be interesting to do some blood tests over time. So we will take that. Now we are going to have another Prussian blue tablet ourselves, and now we are gonna go and try and give them to the others. So I, I don't think they were willing to take the iodine tablets. We don't actually have that many left though, do we? Oh no, we have a few. So let's see, use item on, no, so we can't do it that way. It's just gonna be going like this. I want you to use this item. Okay, so I think before I told her, I want you to hold on to this item. Here we go. Okay, so she takes it, that's good. I want you to use this item. Definitely only doing G, not H. Okay, Prussian blue tablets. Here we go. Okay, great. Now let's talk to Pei, not yet. Okay, let's try and get her first of all to use the potassium iodide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. She She's against that, she's definitely against that. Okay, well let's just try it with the Prussian blue because you desperately do need that. Here we go, okay, good. So that is gonna slowly help us recover. Now the thing with radiation is that we can, we can actually recover from it naturally over time. It's a little difficult. Oh, really we can't get Travis through there. Son of a bitch. Well, I guess we're going through the front door then. And before I forget, we're actually just going to get this flashlight and we're going to reassign it to the letter F just to make it nice and easy. And we're going to reload it as well because we are going to need to use it now that we can't actually see. Um, which will kind of work out in the long run because uh, we'll be able to tell our companions that they need to do that as well. Um, our scarf is good, but we are still dealing with a chilly mouth apparently. Um, let's talk to Candy. I'm guessing Pei is still nearby. We just can't see her right now. Um, I want to see if we can change anything about combat. Hmm. Change engagement rules. Okay. Attack enemies that you can only reach without moving. Okay. So hopefully, I'm, I'm wanting her to try and use the crossbow that she has in her inventory. Change your aiming rules. Um, let's see. Take your time, aim carefully. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can really change there. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not mean to say that, I'm sorry. Uh, just kidding. Let's go. <laughs> okay, no, it looks like she wants to just use the machete for a while. She's kind of given up on 
on the other stuff. Okay, so it's late, but I think we are going to try and make our way to there. I know that along the way there is a a hippie van of sorts, so we'll know that uh, we're on the right track when we see that. Let's go ahead and just eat the biscuit, keep on moving. I could have done some more water before we left, but I felt like staying there was going to be just too dangerous for us. Okay, we've got the two of them, that's good. And I know candy, I know. It's not good for anyone. Okay, so we've reached a little gap in the road there, that's where the lab is. Um, there is a chance that we might run into Bradley out here. A chance, I don't know for sure. That is our skeleton that we ran into before. And if we carry on just a little bit longer... I wonder if Pei is saying that as well. I, I wonder if Candy is suffering a little bit more. She has been around us for longer. I, it's feeling like uh, Dr. Manhattan now, you know, in the, in the Watchmen, about how, you know, the people that he loved, they all started suffering radiation sickness over time. Okay, so we've got the hippie van. The most damaged thing in here is the controls. It has gasoline, it doesn't have a battery. Uh, it's, it's pretty messed up. But, you know, this is something that we can't, could kind of fix. We will need a vehicle if we are going to be moving to the other mansion. So that's something that we need to consider. We need to have a vehicle to be able to transfer everything. Because we can't just we can't just transfer it in Travis. It will not work out for us. Bruised raccoon corpse and a fucking bear. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's quickly talk to Pei and say... <clears throat> combat rules. Only use silent weapons. We don't actually have a weapon for her right now, for her to use, I believe. Yeah. So, she kind of needs to hang back here. We know that we can handle a bear. We've done it before. Ideally, we'd be able to bring it into one of these bushes over here. So let's see if that's going to be possible. We're going to go ahead and activate our net scarf. Is the bear paying attention to us right now? It's tracking at the moment. But it's a lot of meat that we'd be able to get for ourselves, potentially, so... Could be worth it we are i do need to remember that we aren't as strong right now we aren't as strong our strength is dropped right back down because of the radiation and lack of um chasins as well so we're not quite the beast that we once were but we're still pretty damn good i think we should be able to handle ourselves here and we're going to go ahead and take off the liners as well i do need to try and find exactly what they're called a pair of glove liners it's right down the bottom right on come on okay oh a wolf as well Okay, so we want to have... Oh, shit, son. Okay, this could get bad quite fast. Okay, Candy... <laughs> the wolf... The, 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 the two wolves and the bear charge across the road as Dust tries to position herself behind one of the bushes, calling it to her, but Candy cuts the bear's head off in one strike with her machete. The bear is seemingly injured from the wolves already. The wolves dive towards Pei, who skillfully dodges out the way and smacks one over the head with her briefcase as we start to run to attempt to help her. Oh, Pei's bleeding. Okay, well we managed to slam the wolf from behind, getting some of its attention, and then finally killing it, breaking its neck with our hands. We move in and slash at the wolf. Did we get knocked back? No, oh, we knocked the wolf back, I think. Yeah. Okay, the wolf starts to run. As Pei, Pei starts to try and chase after it, but Pei, Pei is currently bleeding, uh, which is not good. Um, we need, we don't actually have any bandages at the moment. I wasn't anticipating us running into trouble like this, but you should always anticipate trouble. So what are you gonna do in this scenario? We need rags, we need rags kind of fast. Uh, I also did want to give her that motorcycle helmet as well, but, um... Okay, our option is to just tear up something that we have. Oh, man, our sleeveless trench coat is gonna go very, very soon. What could we tear up? We could just tear up one of our tops. You know what? Pay should actually have that shirt still. So let's say, let's trade items. Um... Damn. She's got duct tape, which is good. I want to give her the... Did I select that? No. Okay. Let's give you the... I don't want to give you the cash card as well. Can't carry all that. I can't give you the motorcycle helmet? Okay. Uh, what if I say I want you to use this item, and then give you the motorcycle helmet? 
Thanks. Okay, great. All right, she chucks it on. And the wolf is disappearing. But uh, we do still need to do something about that. Uh, she is losing blood. Let's examine those wounds. Oh, shit. Both of her arms have been uh, cut. This is the problem with facing wolves with no kind of armor at all. It is really quite dangerous. So, what are our options? I think our option is probably to go back and grab some of the rags from the wolf that was back there. The problem in doing that, though, is those are filthy rags. Shit. What can we get from the glove liners if we tore those apart? Probably not a hell of a lot, right? We don't need much, we just need something. Because uh, she is going to be bleeding out. Shit, we couldn't salvage a rag. We try and cut it, cut them up, but we can't get anything from them. We don't have anything in Travis at the moment, and if I'm paying attention here, I don't think we have anything in here either that we can use to, uh, to stop that bleeding. Yeah, we don't. I don't suppose you've got anything, do you, Candy? Well, nothing that I can take back from you now. Okay, so pay, we are gonna, we, it's gonna be okay. Your arms are gonna be alright. Um, how close are we to the mansion? We are still pretty far. We're actually closer to the lab. No, we need to run back. I need to try and run back as fast as possible. We're gonna leave Travis here. I'm gonna turn us into running. And actually, you know what? We might be able to get something from here. I don't know if we have the right tools, though, to uh, actually remove any of the materials. So now we can get long ropes, but we're not going to get anything that we could use as a bandage. Ideally, we just need a rag. We need something. Um, and that skeleton that we killed, it is going to have rags, but it's not going to be good. Not going to be good enough for us. So we are going to run as fast as we can. We're going to become exhausted, but we are just going to keep on going as quickly as we can. Okay, we catch our breath. We're slowing down like crazy now. We're absolutely exhausted by the time we reach our mansion. And we start to rummage through everything that we have here, trying to find what we need. We need some bandages, and I'm really hoping that we actually do have some there. Okay. Okay, we have 14 bandages. Great. Let's go ahead and take those. Make sure that they're actually in our inventory. If we go down to drugs, they are there. Perfect. Let's go and find her. Hey, where are you at? As long as we run back along the same kind of path that we were before, we should be able to find them. Okay, there's Candy. Where is she? Okay, pay, pay, pay. Okay, it's all right. Okay, she actually stopped the bleeding herself. Good job, pay. Good job. She's a freaking boss. But we're gonna go ahead and use those on her anyway. I should have had some with me. That was really silly, really stupid. We'll actually get her torso healed up a little bit there. We're gonna drink some water. We're gonna eat some biscuits. God damn. We're actually in a decent amount of pain right now. Uh, I should have noticed that. Probably in part because of the frost nip that we're currently experiencing. So let's go ahead, tighten up that net scarf. We need to keep on moving. Okay. Let's leave that behind. Let's grab Travis and just get on moving. Um, shoot. We can't pass up the amount of uh, meat and everything that is, that's going to be here. Okay, it's going to take some time to do that, but we're going to go ahead and take all that we can from them. It's a lot of sinew. Yep, I know Candy. We're actually going to give her another lot of uh, tablets. We're going to have to leave those bones. And there's a pelt there as well, which I'm going to want to try and grab. Uh, so we've got a lot of meat that we're going to be able to hopefully <laughs> do something with. We're probably just going to have to cook it, but you're not going to be able to... Um, build a charcoal smoker in time. This is really a... It's an expedition mission. We're not meant to be there for a long period of time. It's to go to the mansion, see what condition it's in, see if it's going to be potentially livable for us, and then, you know, potentially move there. Uh, what have I got? I've got the hide, right? Raw pelts, yeah. Let's drop the sinew in there as well. Okay, so we are going to have a Prussian blue tablet ourselves, and we're actually going to have a potassium iodine tablet at the same time. Are we feeling nauseous right now? No, we're not. That's good. But we are getting really freaking cold out here. So we're going to go to them. We're going to talk to them. Candy, we're going to say, gee, I want you to use this item. And we're going to go down to the Prussian blue tablets. There we go. Okay, and let's talk to Pei. need you to have one of those as well. 
She doesn't seem to be complaining about it too much, so maybe she's below a threshold, potentially. Okay. Alright, well, how was that? Oh, it, there is actually some meat on them. I thought the raccoon would be gone. Candy still says she's suffering from radiation sickness. I know. It's gonna start to go away, though. I hope. I, I hope. As long as we're not... Yeah, the wolf might come back. Oh, hello! Shit, son. God damn it, and Pei's bleeding again. Alright, we need to go in. We smack the wolf back, attempting to get its attention. And we kill the thing. Pei losing blood. Oh my god, how many bites did it get on her in that time? This is the problem with her not having a lot of um, armor at all. I really should just tell her to go back to the base, but I've been told that it is actually bug. The reason that Bradley just ran off is because it dismisses them when you tell them to go back to the base. Apparently, there is a chance that that can happen, so... Yeah, not so good. Um, okay, right, so we need to we need to use these bandages on her right now. And ideally, I'm going to make sure that she doesn't get into any combat right now. Okay. Let's bandage her back up. It's going to be okay, Pei. Okay. Her arm and her leg is still bleeding. Bleeding stopped. Okay. Alright. Use item on. Let's double check. Okay, everything is okay, but she's still pretty, pretty messed up. Let's go ahead and butcher this wolf. Uh, we're not going to want the stomach, but we'll take the chunks of meat. And we are getting quite tired during this process. We have a lot of meat now, though. Okay, let's grab Travis and let's get moving. I know, I'm sorry, Ken. Alright, let's um, turn the flashlight off just for the time being. We're going to be traveling in the darkness here, so we need to kind of keep our eyes, well, our eyes, more our ears open. As we, um, shoot, no, that's, that's quite a distance to go still. I think we need to try and push on. I think we need to try and reach it tonight. And I, f I do feel safer having this on while we're traveling on the ro along the road like this. Um... Yeah, we are, we are way too cold, especially without those, um, our hands are going to get absolutely frozen. But really, what we need to do right now is just start moving fast and try and get there. Decayed Pouncer. Okay, we can deal with that. I think we're going to have to deal with that. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And I don't think we can call out to pay. No, we can't. So, let's do that real quick. Okay, wow, it got to us really fast. Turning the flashlight on and off actually seems to take quite a few turns, so we probably won't do that anymore. And I don't know if we are going to be able to loosen this in time. Okay, we do, just in time, but Pei gets here as well. We managed to send the decayed pouncer relay. Come on, leave her alone. Okay, it dies. Are you doing okay, Pei? Thank you. They're both smashing it to pieces. Okay, she's, she's okay, but we need to talk to Pei. We need to try and see if... We can get her to just not engage at all. Okay, let's see. Don't fight unless your life depends on it. I think that's probably the option that we want to go for for now. So unless he's directly being attacked, she won't be fighting. And that's been smashed to pieces now by the others, so... Well, really smashed. Good job. Let's keep moving. Let's go get that scarf nice and close. Grab Travis. Get moving. Yep. Our right hand's gonna start getting frostbitten. We don't want to be out here for much longer. So we're just gonna keep on trying to push along. Push along the road. Dragging our travoir. With a whole heap of meat on it, and Candy's still not feeling quite well at all. I'm not hearing anything from Pace, so I'm feeling I'm feeling relatively confident that she is doing better. I think by the time we actually reach the mansion, or get close to it, we're probably going to try and give another one to Candy. Okay, we've, we've spotted an antler, antlered horror. We are going to just turn this off to see if we can, uh... I feel like us fighting an antlered horror right now, it's pressure. It's going to have to happen. It's seen us. The thing is, like, us having the flashlight on, it, it can be bad, but the thing is, it would have been able to track us by scent anyway. Uh, even though we are weak-scented, the others aren't, so... Alright, let's go ahead and loosen that scarf. 
It's going to waste a few turns, unfortunately, as the moose begins to approach. Okay, we send the thing reeling back for 21 damage. We strike again as it hits us. Ooh, biting into it and slashing, we attempt to kill the thing. How is it doing? Moderately injured. Okay, it hits us pretty good in our right arm, but we continue to strike. Strike after strike, knocking the thing back, biting into it as the other two kind of watch on. Dust telling them to stay back. Radiation weakens us. God damn. We send the thing reeling. The others go up and start to smash it to pieces. Okay. Yeah, so it's actually telling us that radiation is weakening us right now. So, I think we need to go have another Prussian blue tablet, and we need to go ahead and give some to Candy as well. So, let's talk to the girl. I would like you to use this item. Prussian blue tablet. Um, I want to make sure that I actually hit the right thing. G, definitely G, 100% G. Okay, let's go. I bashed it up for now. Let's keep moving. I think Dusk is getting a little desperate. Desperately wanting to reach this place. This place that might be a new home for them. I think, for the time being, we are close. We're just going to follow the road markings. I'm going to have the... Um, flashlight just stay off for now. Out of batteries. Okay. We're coming up on it now. We might be able to find a way in. Now the question is, which way is the way in? I'm imagining it's probably the roadside way. So, yeah, it feels like ice. We're going to have to try and heat up once we get inside because uh, we are not in a great condition. Okay, we should be approaching, yep, the corner of the road now. I'm probably going to want to go ahead and reload our flashlight. So let's go ahead, select our flashlight, reload it. And once we get close, we're going to flash it on and just see what kind of trouble we might have here. Because uh, more than likely there are a number of dead here. Okay, so we've actually gone slightly past it. Can we see an entrance? Let's move back. Okay, well we can see zombies, which is not good. It means they're going to start smashing those goddamn windows. Let's come to the edge of here. Uh, see if we can actually find the edge of the mount. Oh, there we go, we found the doors. Okay, let's get the hell inside. We're gonna drop Travis the Travoir just for the time being. Get that door closed, and let's turn this flashlight on. Okay, that looks like a fucking mace. <laughs> a great helm, and or some ornamental plate armor, and a freaking morning star. Okay, so we've got some good weapons here. I feel like this is gonna be a good mansion for us. Uh, this is, this is Mendelssohn's second mansion. Um, it, who knows, it could have actually been the main mansion. We need to explore it, we need to warm ourselves up. Uh, we are very, very cold, and we are all suffering the effects of radiation. Which is not ideal. Pace seems to be doing okay. But Candy and myself, well, we are not doing that great at all. Uh, we are at the 45 minute mark, actually a little bit past it, so I'm gonna put a cut in here, I'm gonna get a fresh coffee, and we're going to continue. Alrighty, I have returned, and we are going to continue on into the mansion. Now, we have pushed on pretty much right through the night. All three of them will be feeling really, really tired, but we are going to try and continue. We need to explore this place. We need to see if we can make it safe. There are no doubt a number of zombies in here, so what we're going to be doing is primarily flashing our flashlight on and off. We can see that our temperature is starting to rise. However, our, yeah you know our extremities they are very very cold right now it's freezing outside and god knows that pay is not going to be doing well with what she's got on we really i really need to actually get some proper gear on them that's something that i need to take into consideration uh in the coming days we've got a lot to do and, and i guess that's the good thing you know it's always good in cataclysm where you've got a number of things to kind of do but you you really do need to just try and prioritize as much as possible right now we don't have a great food situation all of our food back at the place may be compromised i'm not 100 percent sure about that we have a lot of stuff that we need to move over here if we can make this place safe and then from there we have a lot of things that we need to do to these guys to get them back to health to make sure that in the future what happened doesn't happen again making sure that they are actually really well equipped with um, a whole heap of gear 
So, we've dropped Travis to Travwire. We can actually see there are some items down here as well. There is a great helm and an ornamental, there's some ornamental plate armor, which actually, actually fits us, uh, interestingly enough. Now, it is ornamental, so that means that um, it's probably not, like, operational plate armor you have to be really careful in this game because there are replicas and there are things that aren't meant to be used now it still might be good though the plate armor i'm almost tempted to give that to pay just so that she has some extra protection while she's in here she'll be clunking around like nothing else but um it will be some protection i'm almost tempted to give uh, a, a helmet to candy as well we could deck her out in armor Hmm, let's, okay, let's head over here. Let's head down here with our, with our three. Let's actually have a look at the, the ornamental plate armor. So what's the encumberment gonna be from this? 35, which is a fair amount, but it's pretty good cut and bash protection. And uh, the encumberment from that is pretty big as well. I'm tempted to, to get her fully decked out in this. We could give her the all pike as well, which would be pretty insane. I wanna give all this stuff to Candy. Yeah, Candy the Protector. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, shit. Okay, we got trouble. Yeah, you smashed the friggin' glass, didn't you, you bastard? Okay. We begin to slash as two of them come through the window. We stand our ground, knocking one back out, killing the other. We slash again, digging our fangs into it and throwing it back outside. We wait to see if any more appear. Okay, smash away, girls. Okay, Good work. Come back over here. So the front is somewhat compromised. We know that the windows aren't going to last, especially when we're going through like this. Okay. We might have to do this kind of in sections. Uh, could we wield that? Yeah. Let's just wield it for the time being. Let's go over to Candy and see if this is going to work or not. So Candy, let's see. I want you to use this item. And let's ask her to use the ornamental plate. Uh, I don't want you to use it as a weapon. I want you to wear it. Okay, let's try the helmet then. Actually, you know what? I can actually just tell her to unequip some things. Maybe that'll help. So let's first of all go into here and we're going to go sort armor. So we want her to unequip the helmet. And yeah, she'll probably need to keep the backpack on for now. Okay, so let's talk to her. Let's see if we can get her to wear the, wear the helmet at the very least. So I want you to use this item and let's go down to armor great helm. It's, it's too encumbering to wear, is the reason that she's giving us. But she's got nothing else on her head, which is interesting. Um, okay, can I give you the all pike then? I want you to use this item, all pike. Thanks! Okay, she agreed to use the all pike. Fantastic. Puts away the machete, wields an all pike. Good stuff. Uh, I suppose I can't convince you to, to wear the armor, can I? I want you to use this item. It's too encumbering to wear. Because of everything else that she's got on? I suppose I could just tell her to take it off. Take off everything else. So let's go sort armor. Let's get you to unequip those. Unequip those. And unequip the boots. That could be it, because it will cover the feet as well, and you can usually only wear one pair of boots. So that could that could be the reason behind why we weren't able to do it. So let's go to Candy again now and go, I want you to use this item, ornamental plate. It's too encumbering to wear still. Hmm. Okay, am I going to have to take you, tell you to take some other stuff off? I might need to tell her to take off that backpack. Let's see. Get her to take off everything else for now. Take off that, if you will. Take off that, if you will. Okay. Right, she's got nothing on now. <laughs> Let's see if it's possible. Candy, if you would, let's see if she can put this armor on. Okay, she is now wearing the armor. She has an all pike in hand, and she has, yeah, 
a full set of armor on. Uh, now, let's try and get the helmet on as well. It's actually showing that it's on. We haven't given her the, the helmet yet, yet, have we? Unless the ornamental armor also covers the head, which I didn't think it did. Um, I want you to use this item, Great Helm. Oh, it's too encumbering to wear. Okay, she doesn't want to use it. Um, which I guess, you know, each their own. Let's go up to this one over here and just see. It doesn't cover the head, so I suppose she's just against it. There's nothing else that she has at the moment that uh, would make me think that she's actually using it. Let's go sort armor. So she is just wearing... Okay, she doesn't actually have anything on her feet, surprisingly enough. So we still need to have something on her head. So does she have those items on her still? She can't have them. Oh, okay, good. They are actually over here. Okay, so... Let's see, what do we want to give you? We want to give you the army helmet and the combat boots. We'll give those back to you. So, let's go candy. I want you to use this item. Army helmet, thanks. And I want you to use this item. Combat boots. Okay, great. Good, she agreed to use them. Fantastic. Um, let's just check out her armor again, just to see if there's anything else we can kind of do here. So army helmet on the head. She's wearing ornamental plate armor. Nothing covering the eyes and the mouth for right now. Nothing covering the hands, so we could put the gloves back on her as well. So let's go ahead and grab the fingerless gloves. We might even be able to give her the sheath and the backpack. Who bloody knows? Maybe the drop leg pouches. It's all possible. Okay, Candy, I want you to use this item. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Let's see. Can we give you the gloves? Yes, we can. Great. Can we give you the sheath? Yes, we can. Great. And can we give you the backpack? Okay, you can actually wear a backpack over it. Great. Okay, so <laughs> she's, it doesn't actually look like she's wearing it at the moment now, but we will kind of shuffle things around a little bit. So Candy, final one. Let's see if we can get her to wear the drop leg pouches as well. Great, so she's going to be pretty encumbered. We'll have a look at her stats and, and see exactly how encumbered she is. Uh, let's ask. Not at all. Surprisingly. Oh, has she gone and unequipped the... Maybe she unequipped the the plate armor to be able to put the other stuff on. Could be the case. No, 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 no. We do not want to attack. Jesus. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that's not what we want. I'll get there eventually. Let's sort armor. Okay, she is no longer wearing it. God damn it. Okay. So how are we going to get it back from her? I think we just need to do that process again, unfortunately, because we can't trade with her. So we just need to tell her to go ahead and unequip everything, which is uh, unfortunately a long process. So let's see if we can swap positions with her, grab the ornamental plate armor. So we should still be able to give her those things, I believe. Let's just wield that. Let's talk to her. Candy, can you put this on so you're not naked? Ornamental plate armor, which we are currently wielding. Okay, great. I want you to use this item. I want you to use this item. Okay, that should be it. That should be all of our bases covered. Okay, torso, head, arms, not hands. Okay, so where, where were the fingerless gloves okay that should still be okay i i hope we'll see i want you to use this item some fingerless gloves let's go okay great we'll leave it at that we're gonna have to leave these other things behind for now we might actually be able to give the backpack to to pay for the time being i don't know if she would be willing to kind of swap some of the other things off so let's quickly talk to pay and ask her to use these things let's get you to use the backpack Let's get you to use the sheath. And let's get you to use the drop leg pouches. So she's going to be able to carry it a little bit more now. And I don't think I'm going to be able to convince her to use the helmet. We can try though. So let's go. I want you to use. That's not what I actually wanted. Great helm. No. Yeah, it's too encumbering to wear. I'm not, I'm not surprised. They are really quite encumbering. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to come over to here. here this little pile of weaponry that we've got. We're just going to drop the great helm off there. Okay, so we still have the machete, the crossbow, and some crossbow bolts there. We're going to leave those there just for the time being. 
I mean, we could actually try and use them ourselves. That's entirely possible. Maybe it's worthwhile. You know what? We're, we're going to try it. Candy, we're going to borrow your crossbow. I hope you don't mind. All right. Let's, uh, let's get moving. I know, Candy, I know. Um, maybe we could give her another one. I, I think I surely they must take time. I'm not sure I'm not a hundred percent sure like whether or not you Need to give time in between eating them, but uh, we are gonna eat another one ourselves In the hopes that this will actually help um, Now <laughs> we do have that really quite large Morning star over here. We can see that the bash is is really really quite good. I Wouldn't mind giving that to pay for her to use instead of what she's got at the moment but i, I kind of want pay just to stay out of things there's a sweep attack with this so that means you can attack more than one at a time which can be really really nice so we're just going to move through the rest of the mansion for now um oh that's cool you can actually see the army helmet over that because she's not actually wearing a helmet um unfortunately like the the armor it shows everything at the moment but um that's okay okay all right so we've got a big bedroom here let's go and quickly check hello okay all right, not bad. We've got some ammunition. We have a single barrel shotgun. We have an M1A1, nice. Some cargo pants, okay, that's cool. Uh, and we've got some lemon lime soda, which we're just gonna go ahead and have right now. Okay, there's nothing over on those ones there. So we're just gonna go ahead and swap positions and just keep on moving through. Okay, nice. So we've got a heat pad. We've got some other um, forms of food which uh, I'm gonna take those peaches just now. We're gonna leave the fast noodles for the time being. Uh, that's rotten, I'm not surprised. Most things that are in fridges are, are gonna be rotten by this stage. Um, so no no real surprises there. Let's go ahead and swap a few. Uh, so I think it might be, it might be pay that's not closing doors at the moment. So let's just go to our miscellaneous rules and ask her to close doors, okay. I'm just having a look at bashing obstacles. She will close doors behind them. Okay, right, let's say she will not pick up items. She will not buy. She will not, she will bash down obstacles. Okay, I don't want that. So let's say don't bash down obstacle. Ob obstacles, there we go. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Let's go. Follow me, pay. Right, so we're just gonna go through each of these rooms. Nice, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Another room, but it's a room that's kind of inwards. It's away from everything else, which is very nice. We've got some clothes, we've got a dress, a wool poncho, and I'm probably gonna give that poncho um, to pay right away. So let's just go over, pay. Let's see. I want you to use this wool poncho, which is just here. There you go. Fantastic. That should help keep her a little bit warmer. I find it interesting that um, Candy is now wielding a crossbow just like her brother. Got a candlestick, an umbrella. Okay, we got a lot of booze, which is uh, potentially helpful. And what else do we have on the table? Um, novice bow hunter, the art of Japanese armor making. Nice. Um, and trap and field. I'm probably going to want to see if I can quickly read these. Just just flick through them I'm just making sure it's not actually gonna take that much time for us to do so we're gonna check trap and field no it's not taking much time at all Japanese armor making oh hello we're hearing some noise down there okay so we're gonna go and drop these back off here for the time being because we are gonna get all of these eventually we're gonna open the door and we're gonna shoot him in the head okay all right our dodging improves we're gonna now throw the crossbow at the zombie we hit it in the head, and wow, it did some decent damage to us. But now we can go and whack him with our claws and sink our fangs in and kill the thing. Our crossbow should be beneath that there. Yep, it is. That's okay. They're going to go ahead and smash him into pieces. I'm happy with that. We have another one approaching, so we're just going to deal with it the old-fashioned way. Let's go ahead and turn this off. We can see a little bit better now because it is actually the morning. Send him reeling. And it is essentially better for us to stay uh, to, to stand our ground now, and that's exactly what we do. Gotta go ahead and grab that crossbow, the batteries, and the crossbow bolt. Let's wheel our crossbow and get it reloaded. Okay, the others should come and deal with that 
But what we're going to do now, just so we can close that door, is get everything shifted out of uh, that door frame. Uh, we've still got a filter on, that's why. Okay. All right, and let's just shift everything onto the square that we're on. Okay, so they should be able to come through now. And they're going to pulp that corpse. Yep, good work. Okay. Let's keep on moving. What do we got? Tactical Handgun Digest. Okay, let's um, let's have a quick read of it. Um, let's actually have a quick read through all of these. Okay, and we're just going to drop them back down where we found them. It's just so essentially if we see another, if we if we're going through the libraries and we see something kind of show up, we know what to do. Um, I want Candy to be a little bit more involved in the fights. She doesn't seem to be super involved in them at the moment, but uh, I'm sure we can get her to be. Okay, what have we got? Aluminium can of beer, a gold ring. Let's go ahead and wear the gold ring. Why not? We slip it onto our finger, we disappear into the void. So there's a flint lock, flint lock rifle and there is a Remington and um, a decent amount of ammunition as well. We've got some magazines. Okay, nice. We're gonna come back for all of those. Not to worry, guns and ammo. Let's go ahead and just read what we've got here. All about swords, nice. And let's read guns and ammo as well. And we're just going to go and drop them back down here. So we can still learn things about them, which is good. Good to know. Okay, we've got another dining room of sorts. Our face feels numb, and I'm not surprised. We're still pretty cold in here, I'm assuming. Yeah, not surprised at all. Let's wrap ourselves up warmer. Okay, hello. All right, so we've reloaded our crossbow, so we should be able to get a pretty decent shot onto the zombie so what we're going to do is we're just going to start aiming from back here and uh, essentially wait for him to start coming a little bit closer or until our confidence is better we take a pretty decent shot i'm probably going to try and throw the crossbow again i don't know how many turns it took last time but uh, uh we missed him that's okay though we start slashing into him moving forward we kill another we try and catch this one as it's clambering over the bench Sinking our fangs in and sending the thing reeling. We go and pick up our crossbow once again. Reload it. I don't think Candy could see them, potentially. But uh, we'll let them come over and just bash them. Good job, people. Good job. And let's see what we got on the ground. Nothing, nothing crazy good. We've got some mustard, among other things. We are going to go through room by room. Oh, okay to the north okay oh you son of a bitch you broke the freaking door okay there's two of them well we might as well wait for them to actually fully destroy the door and then we're gonna take a shot 64 that's pretty decent and holy shit was that candy from there so you see how far back candy managed to impale it with the uh um <laughs> with her all pike i'm just gonna wait to see how candy does here she's doing okay she slices the thing to pieces, doing 50 damage. Candy, Candy is a freaking beast now. I love it. I, I freaking love it. Okay, let's take the crossbow bolt. And I'm just making sure we're not missing out on anything else right now. No, I think we're okay. So, we have a swamp all the way around us. And what's really good about swamps is, well, for one, we have salt water. And salt water is great. We can get salt and, and just, you know, it's usable in so many different things from tanning hides to um, just all kinds of different chemical recipes along the way. Cat's tails are a great source of food and also fiber as well. So we can get plant fiber from them. So that's a really good source of thread on the go. Uh, we are going to reload our crossbow and just keep on moving. Okay, looks like we got ourselves a bathroom with some aspirin. Nice. Let's go eat some of those biscuits. And I've just realized now that the meat that we got from the beer, etc., that's probably not going to be good for much longer, unfortunately. Um, do we have any more clean water? We do. So what we're going to do is now we're just going to get some water from the toilet and put it in our hydration pack. Then we're going to take one of our little purification tablets and just purify the water that's in there. Okay, so that's just another door that leads back into the dining room here. Let's keep on carrying around the outside and it looks like that is an atomic nightlight 
and uh, it looks like it's actually a different graphic now. That might have been a... Oh, no, it's an atomic lamp. Okay. So it's like the nightlight, but just freaking bigger. Enjoy the serene, shirking off blue glow of the RivTech atomic disc lamp. And feel confident that you won't have to worry about depleting its power supply for at least 40 million years. So, as far as I was aware, these things can't give you radiation. They don't emit radiation. Maybe that's changed. Maybe that's changed. I think for now, we're going to leave that there because of all the radiation that we're currently dealing with. Um, we have our regular atomic night light as well. I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure that that doesn't give us radiation poisoning. It might have changed. It might have changed. Um, okay, so have we checked out this room yet? No, we haven't. This is another pool room, and it looks like I've got a beauty magazine up there and some coffee. That's uh, that's kind of cool. Um, let's just check in with Candy. We're going to go ahead and give her some more medication. Pay seems to be fine, but she still might have some residual radiation. So we either... I, I, I think we just keep on treating the symptoms right now. The people that are complaining about it, so like, I think we are still, because our stats are still really neg negatively affected right now. So let's say I want you to use this item, and we want to use the Prussian blue tablet. Still got 23, that's not so bad. Let's go ahead and have some ourselves. Prussian blue, okay. And let's start to head down. Okay, we got a zombie. So let's turn off safe mode, and we're going to start to aim up as he slowly approaches and he disappears because uh he can't actually see us but we can see him okay he's gonna keep on disappearing isn't he okay okay here we go now we're talking all right all right that, that's not so bad it's not so bad we'll go ahead and throw it this could be doing a little bit of damage to the crossbow though so we need to be careful oh we can't actually throw it that far so we might just drop it to the ground for now that's probably gonna be the fastest thing for us to do and then we're gonna go ahead and just start slashing the sucker and we do let's grab the crossbow again and go ahead and wield the sucker reload it boom good now we'll let the others come along and just smash them to pieces makes them feel good I know candy I know radiation is not cool okay interesting room layout interesting room layout in that uh, it's been blocked off now I'd like to think it's been blocked off um, the counter is too heavy because we are actually just too weak right now um, I'd like to think it's been blocked off by the previous owner perhaps or someone that was staying here for a little while okay another zombie it's good we can do some damage to it with our crossbow from afar See if it's actually coming towards us. No, it isn't. Hasn't uh, smelt us yet. Now it will have. Surely easily by now. Okay. Wait till that confidence is nice and high. Like that. Let's go ahead and drop it. Okay. All right. We sting. We sink our fangs in and slash at the zombie, killing it, tearing its neck apart with our fangs. Our fangs haven't let us down. Our fangs have just been solid the whole time. Got to say, I'm a big fan of our fangs. Okay, they're going to continue to pop those up. Nice, we've got some more food in here. I'm liking the look of the place. And it looks like there's a waffle iron as well. So this, there's actually some dehydrated meat. Nice. We've got a pa Oh, it's a pasta extruder. Okay, condensed milk. Canned tuna. Okay, and they're still all good. And it looks like we've got some more... Wow, just some chili con carne in there. Or some chili con carne, rather. Okay, is that another way into the room? No, it isn't. But this is this is another room. Not a huge amount going on in there, though. And it's another kind of... I'd say, a uh, resting room of sorts. Book of Dances? Okay, that could be good. It's going to be about um, dodging, etc. The Art and Science of Discus Throwing. <laughs> Okay, interesting. And Book of Dances is up here. So we're going to quickly go and read those. And quickly read that. And we'll drop them both just back down here for now. We can't actually learn anything from them. So. Oh, well. Okay, let's get that door closed, people. Alright, let's keep on moving. Uh, I haven't seen a pool yet. I'm hoping there is a pool here. Because there is salt water. We might be able to get clean water from that somehow i'm not sure what quite the process is in cataclysm though i know what it is in real life but i'm not quite sure what it is in cataclysm <laughs> so yeah complete home repair guide no there was nothing good there was there no 
Okay, we shall continue on then, people. Another kitchen? Okay, it sounds like we've got some fun happening down there. And it's a library, so we will check this one out in a moment, but we just want to deal with whatever's in this room here first. Okay, we've got two. Let's move in. No, we've got three. Okay. We take a shot at one. We start to move in. Okay, we've got four. Okay, so what we're going to do now... Okay, we're actually being grabbed, so we need to stand our ground. We start to slash at them one by one, attempting to kill the one that's in front of us first, the one that's grabbing onto us. We move back through the door frame, using a choke point of sorts. This pay comes up and attempts to help. Oh wow, that one actually made it through? How was that? Oh crap. The, sleeve, the sleeveless trench coat is destroyed. I was kind of worried that was going to happen. I've just realized now that we've just been using the crossbow the entire time. Shit. Okay, no wonder that's been happening. Okay, alright. Well, I'm imagining that in those close quarters, Dusk didn't have the chance to kind of drop the crossbow. She just needed to keep on trying to bash at them, trying to get them away. I've just seen something to the south of us as well. It's another artifact. A slimy sphere. I think we're going to leave the artifact alone just for now. Because uh, we know what artifacts can be like. Okay, yeah, go smash them to pieces. Good work, good work. Yeah, we we know we know what artifacts can be like. They can be very very bad, very 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 bad. Okay, uh, we don't we don't actually move them quite far away. And one of them actually had a Smith and Weston on them. We are seeing another zombie. Stop moving items. Yes. Hello. You must have heard some of the noise. Okay, well, we have our fangs and our claws out and ready this time. And much faster. Pay goes and finishes the job. Okay, let's get everything else out from that door frame. Okay, there was a kilt as well, and I think I actually just moved everything back, unfortunately. Damn it. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm okay with that. We're going to leave everything there for now, though. Um, we're going to step into the room around some of the blood. Let's see what we've got, what we've got over here. We've got some full metal jacket rounds. Same thing again. We're just not going to collect a lot of things right now. This is, like I said, a scouting mission more than anything. Let's go ahead and just drink the Dark Holder. That'll give us some kind of joy. Check out what we've got in the room here. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a it's a Scottish cookbook. So we might actually be able to learn how to make to make haggis now. So let's go ahead and read that for now and just drop that back down. Um, it actually gives us a recipe as to how to make a zweihander and like kilts and a whole heap of things. A whole heap of swords and battle axes and everything. So good book, great book. Where can I get that one in real life? Okay, let's, uh, let's keep on going. We are going to explore this library just a little bit. It looks like it's uh, kind of contained, which is cool. Um, there are a few there that we haven't actually read before. So let's quickly read this um, Swords of the Samurai. It's too dark to read. It's only going to take a second for us to actually flick through it. So let's go ahead and drop that back. Okay. And, right, I think that's all. We will just double check over here. Yeah. And double check over this side. Um, 101 Home Repairs. I don't think we're actually going to be able to learn anything from that, but we will read it, just in case. Uh, not wielding anything? What's going on? There we go. Okay, go ahead and drop that back. There isn't actually anything we can learn from that at all. There's no recipes or anything, so... It is what it is, and we will keep on moving. The others will close the doors. So this is where we actually have our crafting room in the other place. Um, so it's interesting that the layout's similar, but uh, different at the same time. Oh, we've been in here. Yeah, we've been in this one. What am I doing? Okay, let's uh, keep on moving. We will explore the inside, but first we're just going to keep on moving our way around the outside. And this is quite a big bedroom. And I think we we don't have the crossbow and ready, so what we're going to do is we're just going to stand our ground, allow the zombie to approach, and knock it back. We bite into it and send the thing reeling back into the room. Striking again, the thing dies swiftly. Another rises from the sheets on the bed. Dusk moving through the shadows steps towards it. Striking the thing back, approaching again, striking the thing into the sunlight, and then finally killing it. We don't seem to be taking any effect from the sun at the moment. It could be in part because of the snow and just how dark it is at the moment. Entirely possible. There are so many sheets on this bed, like a, just a ridiculous amounts of puddle uh, of, of puddles, pillows, and everything. Um, I'm tempted to take the codeine and the first aid pack right now, just because uh, things go bad quite fast around here. What do we have in here? Yes. So I've been told that's actually for your hair. I got confused. 
yeah, so it, it, because it, it was an ornate one, I, it was, I thought it was something different. It isn't. So, yeah, there we go. I learned. Um, th there are some cigars. So that could be nice. Um, interesting to know that smoking and the cigars and, and tobacco smoke and just smoke in general in this, that can actually mask your scent. So if you are being followed by a horde, start some fires. They will lose your scent. They won't be able to track you. So just a little just a little tip for you there. Okay, let's uh, keep on moving throughout the rest of the place. Interesting that there's sunlight there, which makes me think that they actually have an open courtyard, which is good because we do need somewhere to kind of grow food. Um, there are a lot of bedrooms here, which I actually really quite like. We lose our perceptive mutation. Shit, that's not good. We just lost it. Yeah, okay, let's take some more Prussian blue. And candy, same thing with you. Okay, no, let's ask her to use it. Candy. I want you to use our Prussian blue. Thank you. Okay, we've got a messenger bag. And what else we got? Nothing else. We have very nearly cleared the place out now. This is gonna be taking us close to where we started. That's the main hall just up there. And we have a kitchen. Have we been in this one yet though? There's, there's a decent amount of food. Decent amount. Pretty good, pretty damn good. Okay, so let's go back up into here and we're gonna go through into the center of the building now. Okay, we've got another bedroom. Um, what I really like about this place is that there are so many bedrooms. It means that when we actually do turn it into a colony of sorts, uh, it's gonna work so much better. Bighorn Model 87. What? Okay, it's a, uh, it's a rifle. Oh, Model 89, rather. Okay, all right. I don't know the, I don't know the maker. I don't know Bighorn. Maybe I should. Maybe I should, but uh, I don't. Okay, let's keep on moving. I'm gonna have to climb back out across those. All right, let's head up first of all. Another bedroom. Wow, I'm impressed with the amount of bedrooms. I want to see what that open area is. And uh, they were pretty well equipped here with um, with uh, weaponry. I'd like to think that maybe this is where all of the high-end personnel lived. Okay, so we've got a gold bracelet and a silver earring. I think we're going to go ahead and wear both of those. No, that's a holster. My bad. Well, let's go ahead and take off the holster left. There we go. Okay. Right. I think the reason that Dusk wants to wear those fancy things is because uh, it kind of reminds her of some of those shows that um, Candy would show her back in the lab. Okay, we have been to those ones there. Okay, so let's continue back down here. We've been in there. Let's check out this room. Another little hangout space. Essentially, we're making sure that the the, the mansion is, you know, completely free of dead. We don't want any kind of sneaking up on us. And another big bedroom as well. Impressive amount of bedrooms here. 500 BBs, nice. Okay. All right, nothing in the cupboards there. That's fine. All right. Mm. Oh, maybe that's what that was. Maybe that's what the light was we were seeing. So maybe there isn't an open area, which um, is unfortunate. Because uh, I would like to have somewhere we could grow inside, but uh, uh, I guess we don't have that chance. Yeah, I know, Candy, I know. Okay, yeah, because the light that we would have been seeing is from the lamp. That's unfortunate. Well, I... I think we've fully explored the place now. Yeah. We have. Now the question is, what would we want to use as our main kind of bedroom? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure just yet. We want, I, what I want to do is have everything a little bit closer together. Um, something else that we need to take into account is that there aren't any pools here at all. There are no pools, so... That's, uh... Yeah. That's potentially a, a problem. I think it's okay. I don't think it's too much of an issue for us right now. What I want to find is somewhere for us to be able to stay. And I think, um, I think this room here should be just fine. It's not too bad of a space. But, um, we are gonna, we're gonna need a vehicle or something to be able to bring a lot of the stuff back. Now we are much closer to the, to the, the main town itself, to Mount Auburn, but, um, as long as we're quiet here, as long as we don't actually use any guns, I think we should be okay. I don't think we'll draw any hordes. 
We've only seen the one vehicle so far. The, um... The hippie van. Which we might be able to get working again. There is a chance that we could get that into some kind of working order. Um, it's just the controls that are the most damaged. I didn't see the condition of the engine. Uh, I actually didn't see whether or not it had many wheels. I think what we're going to start doing now is just start heading back home. Um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best thing for us to do right now. I'm just a little concerned about us being so cold out here now. I think if we're fast, we'll be okay. So we're going to take Travis, and we're going to start heading back. Okay. I know candy, it's not so great. We're all suffering. We're going to leave the... We're going to leave that for now, the slimy sphere. It was a slimy sphere, wasn't it? So yeah, so there's something that's emitting some kind of psionic energy that... Um, that Dusk seems to be aware of. We're going to stay a little bit zoomed out while we're uh, running on back. We can see a dog. Probably see that coyote as well. Uh, we might actually just uh, wield a crossbow and just get something loaded into it. Looks like the dogs are actually going to come for us. Bit of a mistake on their behalf. Yep, they are. Okay, so let's just wait a little bit. Wait for it to get a little bit closer. Take a shot. Not so bad. Let's go and drop the crossbow. I'm going to make sure that we aren't actually... Yeah, we're not holding on to Travis right now. We start to slash at the dog, sending it reeling, killing it in a few blows. We managed to kind of scare that one away a little bit here. I might just try and yell at them, see if that's going to scare them off. Doesn't seem to. Candy's stumbling a little bit here. The dogs are quite fast, but we are able to, to kill a number of them. And they do seem to be a little bit more scared of uh, Dusk now. She's kind of blocking the way between Pei and Candy standing there in her suit of armor. What are you doing, dog? What are you going to do, huh? I'm not going to wait anymore. We attempt to strike, but the hook, being so fast, dodges many of our attacks. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's see the distance on that. She can essentially attack from a square away. So maybe it's going to be better for me to try and equip most of our our followers with spears of some kind so that they can have that range so that they can separate themselves from the enemy a little bit yeah I think that could be a good idea um, now we did get weakened by radiation again there I saw that it said you feel weakened by the radiation so I don't like it I don't like it there doesn't seem to be any other way for us to kind of uh, deal with it other than just taking what we can Okay, let's go ahead and grab our crossbow. Uh, I want to be able to take this meat. I want to be able to um, to dehydrate it. But at the same time, I'm, I'm nervous about going back to the mansion, spending too much time back there. I feel like we need to go back. I feel like we need to try and get something of a vehicle together for us to be able to move more of our equipment backwards and forwards. We might be able to build a basic vehicle now. I feel like we have the ability to do it. But um, even just modifying Travis into something a little bit bigger... Um, like, if we have a look at him, if we were to try and install... See, we'd need to build some frames on the side if we were to build, like, a, a cartwheel of sorts. Or at least, you know, two wheels on either side. But even then, I'm not sure... Yeah, we'd have to try and increase his carrying capacity. And yeah, that wouldn't be super, super easy to do. I'm just going to kind of go across some of these here, so we can't make anything cargo related. I think we might have to make a new one, essentially, uh, instead of having Travois. We could try and move, we could just take the Travois off the frame and kind of work back from there. That's an option. Um, but we would need, um, we need wood to be able to do that. Okay, let's just grab that, keep on moving, leave the dogs behind. Hello, okay, we're going to do this, are we? Fine. Yeah, you better run. The dogs seem uneasy about whether or not they want to attack Candy poking at one with her uh, pike. We continue as another tries to approach, but Candy gouges the thing, splitting it in half with her pike. <laughs> and another. Candy doing a fantastic job of protecting the rear. Let's go ahead and eat some of those biscuits as we keep on moving, dragging, dragging Travis along the road. Really, I just want to try and get us back to the uh, car to see if we can get any short ropes from the uh, seat belts, the safety belts. Um, let's go give another tablet to Candy, just because she is talking about it quite a bit. I want you to use an item. 
Mm, I just gave her the cash card. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. Don't make that mistake again, Rikon. Okay, use that. There we go. All right. More dead. And bloody cold as well. Okay. More dogs. Actually, a decent pack of them. Really decent pack of them. Oh, shit. Okay. Not that we can't handle them, but I just feel like we should avoid them if we can. And we're approaching the hippie van now. Okay, so I want to see what the real condition of it is like. Okay. Wheels enough. It actually does have enough wheels. It actually has some gasoline in it right now. Let's see. The engine is damaged. No surprises there. Okay. I'm just looking for a fuel tank right now. The tank is actually in a good condition, so it's not going to leak at all. Uh, there are safety belts on the seats. So essentially it's the controls that are the most damaged here. I might just be able to fix the controls. In saying that, we, we still need a battery though. We, there is no battery for it to kind of run this with. There is an alternator, there is just no battery. Um, what would it take to, to, to fix those controls right now? Um, okay. Yeah, we'd need a, we'd need a makeshift welder. And we'd actually need some vehicle controls as well because they're completely gone. Okay, so I, what I think we might try and see if we can do is just remove these, safe, these uh, seat belts for the time being. Yeah. We, there is a zombie approaching. Stop interacting with the vehicle. Yes. Hello, where the hell did you two come from? They came from the forest. Okay. Let's go ahead and just, um, we don't, we're not holding on to Travis right now. But we're actually going to stand back. We're, allow, we're going to allow Candy to kind of help out with this. As we start to slash at them. And Candy kills the other one in a moment. No problems at all. We'll take that spray can because we're going to be able to use that to actually write on the grave like we wanted to. Uh, everything else we're going to leave though. But uh, they made quick work of them. There is actually a zombie and a zombie dog coming. So we are just going to wait. Allow, allow them to approach. Okay. Or maybe not. Yeah, they are just kind of north of us at the moment. Oh, that's why. There is a friggin' horde there. Shit. Okay, there is a horde by the mansion. Okay. That's something we need to be very, very careful with. Okay, we are going to stand our ground here for now. We're going to see if we can do a little bit more work on the car. Okay. We are after safety belts. Okay, good. Move across to the next. Uh, remove. Seatbelt. Same here. Seatbelt. And this is going to be giving us long ropes, which is what we're going to be able to use to make uh, a basic wooden cart, essentially. I'm trying to see if there is anything else that I want to take from here for now. Uh, we, could, we could take some of these frames. Uh, we might not... No, we're not going to be able to. We need metal soaring, so we need a hacksaw with us, and we don't have that. I wasn't really ready to, to take apart a car, but uh, at the very least, we have uh, a number of uh, long ropes there, I believe. Uh, just on the ground, so let's go ahead and just grab Travis. And, oh, short ropes, okay. Well, they are still something, at the very least. Now, what are we going to do here? Because um, there is a horde ahead of us. Or not, it might have moved on, okay. We don't know for certain. We are going to start to cautiously make our way back towards the mansion. I'm just keeping an eye up on our compass just to see if we see anything in the distance. Candy's still not feeling very good. Okay. Alright. We are seeing a dog that's apparently coming for us. We have managed to return to our mansion, and that horde, wherever they are, they've moved on for now. I'm going to need to come up with a plan. A plan to make um, a basic cart of some kind. I really don't like the idea of the others spending any period of time inside there, and Candy, again, just doing a really good job. Ah, oh, we're feeling nauseous. Less than ideal. Okay. 
All right, we need to go in here and we need to get some supplies. We need to grab tools, mostly. Okay, let's grab the stone adds. We are gonna grab everything eventually, but uh, for now, for the time being, we just need to try and get some basic supplies. Okay, one hacksaw. Okay. We have a hammer with us? I believe we do. Yeah, hammer, screwdriver set. Okay. I don't think we have anything too useful up the top here. We are gonna do a very, very, very quick check. With number of leather patches still. Primarily, I think we are going to need um, two by fours and we have those in spades just in the other room and that's a room that we haven't spent a lot of time in so I feel like we'd be okay in there so let's come down here just for the time being yeah I know you're not feeling good candy I'm not feeling good either I'm not sure how far that radiation spreads inside here we're not feeling too hot right now really not that great our left arm uh, well we're, we're actually suffering from the cold more than anything so I do need to be careful of that as well um, we might just be able to go and grab a blanket for the time being out of our room and just wear that that'll start to warm us up just a little bit while we're working on this so let's go ahead and do that quickly go grab a blanket or two probably the downfill downfill uh ah oh, downfill blanket yeah warmth of 70 covers uh, covers us 100 percent go ahead and just wear it for now so we chuck on the blanket we're going to be ridiculously slow with that on but at least we're going to be warm actually we're we're ridiculously hot to the point where we might faint so we're just going to go ahead and just drop that really quick because uh we've gone from being too cold to being overwhelmingly hot so where is that downfill blanket right there drop that on the ground okay all right so let's have a look at this let's have a look at travis we might be able to change a few things here uh first of all i think we need to shift everything out of travis that's probably gonna be the smartest thing for us to do rather than trying to disassemble it uh, yep, I'm sure I can't put items there. Um, oh, we need to actually grab it first. It needs to be a grabbed vehicle. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's just shift it to the side of us for now, just so they're all out of the way. Okay, now let's examine the sucker. I think we are just going to try and remove the travoir part of it for now. There we go. Okay, so the travoir part of it has been, re has been removed for the time being. I want to see if we can install another light wooden frame okay so we just need a short rope and a light wooden frame okay light wooden handle stop interacting with the vehicle no just keep on going for now okay that's light wooden handle that's not exactly what I wanted to make god damn it how long is that gonna take to remove not that long thankfully I was sure that we were making a light wooden frame. Maybe not. Maybe that is just a handle. Hmm. Because essentially we'd need to make at least two on the side. And then, uh, I believe that's how it's going to work. So we'd have something like a handle here for us to use. Then we'd have uh, two frames on the sides and each of those would have a wheel on them. We have a wrench now, so we would be able to actually install a, a wheel. But we also need to install, or at least try to install, some kind of cargo space or something like that. Some kind of cart. Yeah. I think, guys and gals, that this might be something that I look at off camera. Because it is going to take me a little while to go through everything and pretty much just decide exactly how I want to make this basic wooden cart. Um, I also need to remember it needs to be something that we can actually get outside. So yeah, that might be a problem. That might be a problem for us if I try and build it inside here. I might have to try and shift some other things outside. Uh, yeah, so we might have more of a need of Travis before I'm actually able to get this done. I'm going to try and see if there is anything else we can do in terms of our radiation sickness, see if there is any way for us to better combat it. Um, being in this mansion is very, very dangerous. There is no way for me to really tell exactly how irradiated the areas are around us without a Geiger counter. 
Um, so like our cooking space could be heavily radiated. I'm sure our bedroom is, and I'm sure the crafting area is as well. I just don't know how, how irradiated they are. It does have me worried. Hmm. Well, we didn't manage to achieve too much today, other than the fact that we managed to clear out the mansion, which I, which I am happy with. It's going to be a good space for us. It doesn't have the pool like we have here, so we don't have unlimited water. But as long as we're smart, as long as we can try and build a water system that will sustain us for a long time, we should be okay. But we're going to have to try and take that into account when we're uh, building a crafting area, building a space that we're going to live and work in. Yeah, I'm going to do a lot of paper planning, I think, for this. We are still alive for now. We are certainly weaker than we were before. Everyone's feeling it. Candy is a knight in shining armor now, rocking her armor helmet, uh, her army helmet, and everything else. The pike seems to be suiting her really, really well. Pay is in a bad way, but not as bad as Candy because Candy has the radiation sickness. I think Pay seems to have gotten through it, and I think that those tablets are actually helping. We just need to stick at taking them. I'm gonna try and figure out exactly how many we should be taking, how often we should be taking them, because I imagine there would be some kind of instruction on the bottle. At least I'd hope they'd be. But yeah, we are tired. We are going to need to sleep. And uh, we are going to sleep. But we're going to sleep in a, a section of the mansion that's far away from everything else. Probably in our little contained little um, snooker room. Because uh, that seemed to work for us last time. Oh, I hope you'll join me in the next one, guys and gals. We are still on a road of recovery. We're going to get there. Dusk is still alive. Candy's still alive. Pay is still alive. Radley is out there somewhere freezing his ass off but that's the decision that he's made we can't change that i hope you'll join me for the next one i have been right you have all been awesome and until then stay tuned